The interaction with the minister brought back sad and painful memories for these women. Since the burning of their homes last year, they are still sleeping in nearby forests. It's painful for us. If I leave this in Bizo at night, I will not know the spot I sleep on at the forest because I still sleep in the forest. I will sleep on an empty stomach. Tomorrow it's school day. Our children will attend school having slept in the forest. In recent months, the provincial government has converged on this village several times, but people continue to die. Two weeks ago, two learners lost their lives after they were shot at while returning from evening classes. Some lived to tell the tale. After the incident, honestly speaking, uh, I feel like threatened. Uh, every time I think about this uh, incident, like I always have those memories, those gunshots every time. Honestly speaking, uh, I'm not okay. It will take time. The government felt as many people have been killed after that. When this started, it's about a year, actually it's about plus minus 18 months. But now there is no injection from the government. And the government failed us because they always come, everybody comes from the national and pro from the provincial. I'm sorry to say that. National is the first time to come here. But the provincial government always come here and seemingly as if they are just like people who are doing a research. Some victims of the conflict were brave enough to point the alleged perpetrators at the Imbizo. They were then arrested on the spot. What I only want, I want justice. It's been for a long time. I want a justice system. Even I got kids inside, they are small. They know once this happens, they, is, we attack. They know they have to go under the chairs, under the sofas. We are attacked. And it's one person. The amount of sustained are mistaken. I'm born. Within 72 hours, more heavily armed police will be dispatched to the village as a temporary measure. A stern warning has been sent to the perpetrators. We have apologized for the Minister of Defense that was supposed to be here. There are issues. But we have already signed the letter uh, requesting the President because there was a lot of requests, not only today, even yesterday and other days, of the SANDF coming here. We have sent the letter uh, to the President so that uh, is able to come and reinforce the police, but we are not going to wait for that. Uh, in 74 hours, definitely, there will be significant deployment of the special forces coming here. A police station will soon be built in the area. Fundi Swamsekwe, SABC News, Majola, Port St. John's.